how are you are you in america are you in paris are you in south africa are you in uganda are you in tanzania or where are you okay so i'm back on youtube and on law matters you know i love learning and every time i miss something i can't understand they have to ask so remember the whether i should allow mr masengeli the contemnor who is before the court to explain to answer questions about having never stopped in court why he deliberately disobeyed the orders of someone by the court which led to his conviction and sentence party of kenya led by the president emeritus nelson harvey has urged me to deny mr masengeli the opportunity Yes, to this court from the bar that the missing persons have now been released and all I should do is to allow Mr. Masengeri to confirm that he has complied with the orders of Abias Corpus, Corpus so that these proceedings can come to an end. Additionally, he has argued that Mr. Masengeri has filed two applications before the Court of Appeal where he has appealed against a conviction and sentence and one where he seeks an order of stay of these proceedings. Mr. Dan Manzo has argued or submitted that the court is now functus official since the jurisdiction of this court now rests with the Court of Appeal, has now been vested with the Court of Appeal following the, following the filing of the two appeals. This position has been strongly opposed by counsels for the first respondent, Mr. Miller and Mr. Obola, who have argued that the court gave a coercive order which end compliance requirement. Further, the proceedings before the Court of Appeal are intended to deal with the conviction aspect and not the sentence. In making a decision on the issue before me, I must make reference to the sentence of the order I made on the 13th of September 2024. In sentencing, in sentencing for contempt, there are normally two ways of punishing a contemnor. Actually, two major ways. The court can choose to adopt a purely punitive approach or can choose to use a coercive approach in which it includes what is known as the punching conditions. The coercive approach gives the contemnor the opportunity to save himself from punishment, <coughs> the equivalent of purgatory in religious, religious circles, so that if the contemnor complies and refuse, fulfills the obligation required of him by the court, the court can weigh and consider whether he has cleansed himself of the original sin. In my ruling on the 13th of September 2024, I added this in mind when I included condition number four, which stated as follows. The court nevertheless considered, considers it desirable to impose a coercive order as opposed to the punitive order. In this regard, Mr. Gilbert Masengeli can avail, can avoid serving the sentence if he complies with the direction to obey the court summons. I thus suspend the sentence for seven days only. The acting inspector general can redeem himself by availing himself before the court in person to answer to the issues he has been avoiding within seven days. In default, the sentence shall automatically become effective. Having stated as much, and the contemnor having availed himself before the court, before the lapse of the seven days, I would be going against my own orders if I deny him, deny him audience as urged by the LSK. This is a court of justice and must act fairly at all times towards those that appear before it. Mr. Masengeri is entitled to be heard by virtue of this court order. The Court of Appeal 
has not taken away the jurisdiction of this court. For it has not issued any order being the, uh, barring this court from hearing Mr. Masengedi. The, this court is not functus as official either as the, tense, as the sentence was merely, was not purely punitive but coercive, alleged, alleged with purge conditions that the court right, so in this, um, video reserved to consider yes. before the sentence I'm just there was a case becomes that was effective. I will thus allow I Mr. Masengeli to, to take to the stand uh, and redeem him. Because in my understanding, the little understanding, and that's why I'm asking here so that those who have the knowledge in this kindly tell me so that I'm informed. How comes he never appeared but he was able to appeal? I thought you still, you first have to appear in court and then as the case proceeds, that, then that's when you have the ability to appeal um, against whatever has been charged or, um, you know, the verdict you've received from court. Then another question I would also want to ask, why is it that in Kenyan courts we don't have the reading of cases like in the case of this versus this, number this in this court as appellate this. You know, when uh, you watch the American videos or the courts, then you hear such. Is there a difference? Yeah, the name of my court. Now, when we look at uh, Judge Lawrence, I swear Judge, by the name of my court. Uh, 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 the and safety that i had masengeli talk about that and safety of kenyans then i actually wonder where were the three aslam um we had jamil and the responsibilities we had, uh, is border security bob. where were they Ensuring that because they are finally are safe found bob in Togoto, in Kashi, aslam and jamil in Kashi. where within, were they and without the safety of the kenyan you're my lord